a couple bros. We're just chilling. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. We are going to feed them. What? If there's one thing I know about Australia, it's got crazy animals and hot ass people. So I am ready to take on both. We're here in Australia for a very special four part series. The country where humans said, screw it, animals, you win. Wow, look at the nutsack on him. Jesus Christ. We're here experiencing everything that makes Australia unique. The food, the culture, the sports, the birds. <laughs> and also, our significant others are here. Oh, a duck. <laughs> it's the Try Guys Try Australia. Let's do it. We acknowledge that this series was filmed on indigenous land and we pay our respects to the elders past, present, and emerging. We're here at the beautiful Moonlit Sanctuary Wildlife Conservation Park in Pearsdale, Australia. Australia has a lot of really amazing, unique animals that only live here. We drove by some kangaroos and I saw some playing with their dicks. <laughs> I don't know if we can use that footage, and if we can't use it in the video, you can find it on my Instagram, at KeithAbs. Australia is crazy. I, there are just so many animals here that I think want to kill me, and they can at any point. Yesterday, I saved Wes from a magpie attack. A swooping magpie went across the ground, and I ducked in front of Wes, and then the magpie clocked me in the back of the head. As long as I don't meet any swooping birds today, I should be okay. My name's Britt, welcome to Moonlit Sanctuary. Today we are going to be doing some cleaning, we're gonna be doing some feeding, and we're gonna be making some animal toys. Yeah! yeah. yeah. So exciting! Yeah. <laughs> it is a well-known fact that I tend to prefer the company of animals over other human beings. You know, being an animal caretaker, I imagine it's a lot of hugging the animals, giving them small kisses, calling them puppies. The Moonless Sanctuary is a home to over 300 native species. We really are all about education and getting people to engage and connect with these animals so that hopefully they go home and want to help them. My goal today is to actually be adopted by a kangaroo. I'm going to try and climb into a kangaroo's belly. If I can't do that, I will settle for keep. Let's go feed some animals. Oh my god. 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 Yes, get on the log. Get on the log. Yes. This is Mary. Mary is a common wombat. We're going to hopefully get her interested in this while we clean her enclosure. People expect them to be cute and cuddly, but they're not. They're big and they have really strong teeth and a really hard butt. Yeah, and they smashed the skulls of foxes, right? Yeah. With her ass. With her butt. With that yeah. flat ass. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I like that. Some people are ashamed of their flat ass. You could use your flat ass to break people's faces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, my God. Oh, Mary. 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 Oh,
is very, very low in energy. Is this eucalyptus here? This is eucalyptus. Can so we feed them? We are going to feed them. Oh, yes, it up. is feeding time. <laughs> Mally, Mally, no, this no. is exciting. Get back this to is it. exciting. Get back to it. What we do when we feed our koalas every day is we take all the food out, all the old food, so they've eaten what they want to eat from it. So we're going to replace the whole thing. They didn't eat any of this. There are starving koalas in Australia. <laughs> Give her a fresh one, Ned. This one looks oh, real fresh. Looks Only the best. Nice. That looks juicy. Oh yeah, that's juicy. Oh my god, she's oh like, oh my god, god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, look at those crazy paws. They've got really sharp claws. They don't attack you? No, they don't attack us. I mean, they will use it for defense against predators or even each other. It can be a little territorial. Now, you said that Mary also was nonviolent. Uh, <laughs> is this nonviolent like Mary, or am I allowed to no, get no, as close as I want? No, no, she's very nonviolent, I promise. Okay. She's very relaxed. Go for it, girl. Girl. Girl, you girl. got this. All this food you did not eat. What is wrong with this eucalyptus? Oh, did you call her? Think... What? Shut the fuck up. Where? Oh my god, it was eating it. <laughs> I didn't know, I'm so sorry. I didn't know there was a koala right here. Ah! He's eating, Zach. <laughs> so this is Luca. Luca is 11 years old. W what do I do, do I put it back? Do I put um, the eucalyptus back? I feel like I'm playing tug of war. No, that's okay. I'm just gonna get really close so that you can hear it. Yum. You are the most beautiful animal in the world, and I hope you have a wonderful life. And I know that you're gonna have a lot of really awesome times with your friend, Mally, over there. But you're my personal favorite, and I love you forever, and I wish I could steal you. But I know you gotta be rehabilitated, and I'm sorry that humans are messing up your entire uh, forest and habitat. But I know it's gonna be better, because everyone's gonna take care of koalas forever and ever. And you're the best, and I love you. And, okay, I wanna touch you, but I can't. But I'm gonna respect you from afar. Let's, let's talk clap. Why do they all got chlamydia? Unfortunately, yeah. it spreads really quickly in the wild. It is a different strain to human chlamydia. And I think, again, a myth is people think that they can catch chlamydia off being scratched or bitten or touched by a koala. But no, this only is if you have sex not with true. It. <laughs> Even then, it is a completely different strain. I feel like now would also be a good time to talk about their penises. <laughs> Um, they, they have two split, right? Yeah, so they, well, they have one with a split at the end. It's forked. Yes, I get because that. when they breed, unfortunately, there's no romance when it comes to koala breeding. The male has to basically get on the back of the female and just hold her down for as long as he can. Oh, God. Um, so this any is... help he can get is... This is our food prep room, and you can see all the diets on the oh, wall there. Wow, yeah. It's like we're at a smoothie bar. Do you ever add like a shot of whey protein? <laughs> Bulk them up for the kangaroos, though. Yeah, oh, the well, kangaroos. Our though. big man's already bulked up. We've got some cantaloupe here. We just need to put one cantaloupe piece in every single tub. You got this, Ned. You got it. Wow, yeah, way yeah. to go, Ned. Go, Ned. Way to go, Ned. Yeah. One, one yeah. cantaloupe. Yeah. 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 Found yeah. it. Top. You put the melons in the melon tub, you put the bananas in the nano tub, you put the berries in the apple tub, no, the berry tub! <laughs> yeah, you do. Who gets the carrots? Oh, Who gets the carrots? Are they heavy? Oi, oi, Australian football, rugby, in the bin. Cock to every- ah! <laughs> He's done it. Wow. Hey! Wow. Two points for Gryffindor! <laughs> and I thought Ned didn't care at all. Uh. <laughs> Uh, this is the hardest try we've ever done. You guys want to come and meet some snakes now that we've done all this? Actually, I think the people that want to meet the snakes the most hmm. are the tri wives. Uh, uh, they're running away. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Pug, Pug, and he likes a hug. There's a bit of a trick to telling a python from a venomous snake. A general mm. rule is the shape of the snake's head. Mm -hmm. So if we have a look at Pug's head, he has got a triangular shaped head. Mm -hmm. You see that bubble there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This generally means that because he doesn't have fangs, he's got lots of extra teeth to help him grab onto his prey. Mm -hmm. There's extra hey. room for those teeth there. If you just keep your arms kind of like this, he will just make himself comfortable. He's gonna hold your oh hand. Oh my god, his head, oh god. This one's <laughs> name's Charles. You got this. No, Matt, save me, Matt, no. 
He's super chill. He's, I think he's like. Oh, oh he's got Chris Bucky. Yeah, he just chills. Oh my god, his head is really nice. He feels no, the vibration. No, 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 no. Do you want me to take him off? You got this, Maggie. He's wait, doing I'm, great. Just, I'm just gonna wait till he moves. Oh. He's Remember, he's moves. super, super muscly. He can crush his prey just by squeezing it. <laughs> but this means that he can actually move over you guys really, really easily. So don't worry. It looks like an excessive. <gasps> yes. 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 Right? Matt knows how to handle a giant snake. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh, <laughs> All right, so we are going to feed Silky, and he's going to eat this little rat here. So all you have to do is put the tongs in the enclosure in front of his face. When pythons kill their prey, they don't have any venom to inject. They strangle their prey to death. Oh. Well done, well oh done. Oh my god. Once he's satisfied, he'll uncoil himself and then dislocate his jaw and start to slowly walk his mouth down that rat. Oh my god! <laughs> There's no way in hell people are going to want to see this on YouTube. It's just kind of like a mukbang. But also... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so Gordon is a five-year-old male Tasmanian devil. And he is in here by himself. Believe it or not, these guys only live to be about six years old. So he's an older dude. This is his retirement village. Do you want to drop a key? You see my but put it out a little nice bit further close. so it comes out. Oh yeah, girl. Perfect. Get that fucking, oh. Shh. Should we move butt. the egg a little closer? He's turned his butt to us. He's not interested in the egg. Come on, Gordo, come on. You Look at you embarrassing me. Gordo! Gordo! <laughs> Gordy, come on! Maybe we'll have to use a bit of rabbit. Oh, that's flesh. Nice, now drop it nice and close to the opening. Gordo, I've got some flesh for you. Maybe. Oh, hell yeah. He's smelling the egg. <laughs> he's, oh, he's playing, he's captured the egg. What's he doing? <laughs> come on, Gordo! Why <laughs> could you not come out? Bring the egg back at least. Let us see you eat the egg. The egg is just in there. He's not even oh. eating the egg. <laughs> the egg is. Come on! <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're supposed to be the devil. <laughs> He's not even eating the egg. He just has the egg in there. Gordo. A bird's going to eat that rabbit. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think birds do that. I can't believe this. Oh my God. There's another one. Are they dating? Are they wife and this husband or husband, husband? They are girls. Two girls. Lesbians. Yes. Lesbian kookaburras. Oh, lesbian kookaburras. Oh, well, lesbians do love to nest. <laughs> <laughs> These are yeah. the ones that are, um, they laugh. The call they make sounds like someone's told a really good joke and then they stick their heads back and go, ha ha ha. You have that song. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes. He laugh, kookaburra laugh, kookaburra gay, your life must be. You sure we don't need eye protection? The beaks do look large and the talons do look sharp. We have wafer and pretzel. Oh, and I'm back on board. I'm back on board. All right, so if you guys present your left hand nice and flat. Good girl. Here you go. I'm a motherfucking Disney princess, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yay, well done! Yes! I'm a motherfucking Disney princess, bitch. <laughs> that was so much less convincing. <laughs> Welcome to Kookaburra Tricks Part 2. This here's the headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> a dab. <laughs> a protective dab. Here we go! 
We are in our wallaby walk. So our kangaroos and wallabies roam the entire park free, but this is their sanctuary. This is where they come to rest. Anything lower than your hip is a wallaby and anything hip height and higher is a kangaroo. All right, let's go for it, guys. Guys, I'm freaking out. This is crazy. <laughs> These are all females, and then we have our alpha male right on the left-hand side, laying down. Hey, bro. His name's Arnie. We named him after yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger because oh, wow. of his strong. mass muscles. They use their tail as a as another leg. Yeah, their tails are so muscular. They can actually lean their entire body weight back on that tail. Come here. They might like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> That's awesome, guys. You can pat them anywhere down their back as well. Oh yeah, look at you, you're tall. <gasps> They're soft. You're so soft. And they and always they travel sweet. in mobs. So when there's one, there's always more. <laughs> my kangaroo's got a posse. You ate all my corn. <laughs> now, if, if we see one on the side of the road, probably don't do this, right? Yes, definitely don't. These guys have been used to people. They've been in captivity their whole life. So they're very friendly, but you do have to be very careful driving around in Australia, especially at dawn and dusk. Army. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. Oh, Arnie, great job. You've tamed the alpha, Keith. Well, he and I understand things. We both have huge biceps. <laughs> He's quite a romantic, Arnie. Aren't In you? the breeding season, he spends a couple of days on every lady. Instead of just going from one girl to the next, he spends some time on them. That is so sweet, Arnie. Hi, sweetie. Over here we actually have a what we call a Tama wallaby and it has got a tiny little joey in its pouch. Can you have a look? Over here. Oh and the joey oh, is here! The baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Did you just see that? He just jumped Maybe. right in. <laughs> We're holding hands. <laughs> this was the single greatest Try Guys video in history. Never before have I felt so emotionally fulfilled. I guess I did come out <laughs> recently. Um, this is the second most emotionally fulfilling Try Guys video for me in history. <laughs> Eugene got to have the bird land on his hand. Zach got to hang out with a little Joey and see the Joey jump in the pouch. Ned got to be attacked by the bird. And the Tasmanian Devil wouldn't even eat my egg. <laughs> Props to all of these zookeepers and caretakers out there. There's a lot that goes into making sure these animals are healthy. Conservation is so important because the animals affect everything. A lot of the animals that we lose have an effect on other animals, which have an effect on the environment, which have an effect on us. And also, I want my kids in the future to be able to see the incredible animals that we see today. They just don't want to lose any more than we already have. I'm dead. Bury me in Australia because I'm dead. These are so fucking cute. We have so much more in this special Australian series, so stick around and let us know what your favorite animal was in the comments down under. Also, my boyfriend was in this video. Bye! <laughs>